All right, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be the first episode in a series of me finding random things on the technology Reddit page and talking about them. <laughs> this, um, this article here that I found is about a new technology for storing large amounts of data for quantum computing. It uses a um, newly designed diamond wafer that, according to the article, can store a billion Blu-rays worth of data, which doesn't mean too much to me, but is obviously a large amount of data. <laughs> so, basic idea of the article, a new uh, manufacturing method has allowed them to make five centimeter wafers of diamond, which in the past, they've only been able to make much smaller diamond wafers, at least of the, the high purity that they need for quantum storage. The actual technology that allows them to, you know, store information on a diamond wafer is um, through the use of something called a nitrogen vacancy center, which if you look at the structure of a diamond, you can see it's made up of these individual carbon atoms that are linked in this uh, repeating structure. And in the case of a nitrogen vacancy center, see in this picture, there are two carbon atoms uh, missing. One of them is replaced with the nitrogen and the other is a vacancy, which isn't too important for understanding this. But the idea is that for a quantum computer, you can't just store things as ones and zeros like you would you know, on a hard drive or um, a solid state drive these days. You have to store it as something that has some sort of quantum, uh, some sort of quantum effects involved in it to allow it to have, to store you know, a qubit, which requires the superposition of the one and the zero and that sort of thing. I don't really understand it completely, but the idea is that, well, it requires a new technology like diamond wafers. It also allows for things to be stored on a way smaller scale than, you know, a hard drive. It's pretty big, but you just have to put a one or a zero. In a nitrogen vacancy center, while it's way smaller, it stores more information than a single one or zero, since the one and zero are sort of existing at the same time in some ways. <laughs> But anyway, into the less technical parts of this, the researchers that made this new type of diamond wafer uh, talk about how in the past they were able to make diamond wafers a similar size, but it had too much nitrogen to really be useful for actually storing the data, or they can make high purity wafers that would have been too small to really use. So now in this one, they can um, this manufacturing technique, they can make wafers that are five centimeters across which they claim allows them to, you know, theoretically store 25 exabytes of data, which, you know, is 25 million gigabytes, which obviously is <laughs> way more than any, um, any consumer would need. But I suppose for some quantum computing applications, it's necessary to have that much data. Yeah, I don't remember the exact figure, but um, when they were imaging the first uh, black hole, in some distant galaxy, they had they had to um, transport some hundreds of exabytes of data, and it was actually easier to put the massive, I guess, hard drives, some sort of drives, into a a vehicle and fly it across the country to um, to where they wanted to put it in a supercomputer or something. It was faster to physically move the drives than it was to send it over the internet, which. Imagine if they had these diamond drives, they could have <laughs> put it maybe in a in a smaller plane or something. Anyway, the manufacturing that allowed them that to actually make these larger diamond wafers with a very high purity was to use a special type of substrate material that um, prevented the diamonds from cracking. Because usually with a very high purity crystal, it becomes much more brittle than it would with um, more imperfections. And in this case, they used what they describe as a, um, a sh step-shaped uh, surface to grow the crystal. I I'm assuming they mean um, it sort of had horizontal ridges that would focus 
the um, the strain on the crystal that just is inherent for the growing process. And um, whatever the exact uh, way that they did it, it prevented cracking and allows them to make much longer crystals than, or than they normally would with uh, very few defects. And they, um, they say they hope to commercialize this wafer by 2023 and to also work on doubling the diameter to 10 centimeters instead of just five, which obviously would, um, have, uh, I'm assuming, provide four times more data storage. There would also be uh, four times more area. But um, anyway, this seems like a very, you know, a very big leap. You see in the, the picture they show, very big leap in uh, quantum computing storage. And hopefully it will, you know, open the doorway to new, new advancements in the quantum computing field. I, I really believe that's uh, the next step in computing. You know, it's going to be hard to continue the Moore's Law trajectory with um, simple silicon computing, but... With quantum computing, we could maybe even surpass it, you know, make some crazy technology in the near future. So hopefully you found this interesting. I'll keep looking at the technology Reddit and see if there's some more things to talk about. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.